Fans, how'd you like to get 25% off and get free shipping on the perfect holiday gift? EliteTeam.com has the softest Denali NFL and college blankets by the Northwest Company. Use promo code BLUE for 25% off and free shipping at EliteTeam.com. These blankets are awesome and they're softer every time you wash and dry them. Use promo code BLUE for 25% off and free shipping at EliteTeam.com. The official blanket of pure fandomonium. That's code Promo code BLUE. Happy holidays, everyone, including Dennis Haysbert, who's right here on the Rich Eisen Show. That blanket that we just showed to the 49ers, that is yours to keep, sir. Really? Yes. Thank you. Giving out gifts. Thank you. Well, I figured, you know, when you win game one and then lose (laughs) every game after it, you deserve a blanket for being a fan of that team. Yes, you have a crying blanket or something. You can have that. Yes. So... Um, Raiders and 49ers. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting how things have kind of flipped a little bit here? It is interesting how it flips. You know, and I, one of these seasons, just one, I just like to see them both winning. Well, I guess right now in Oakland, mm-hmm. when you've got the Coliseum across from Oracle, right now it's just winning central with the Warriors and the Raiders right now. Yeah. Dennis. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I'm assuming you're a Warriors fan as well. Yes, I am. Because you're from that area, correct? I'm from that area. I've always been a Warriors fan. <clears throat> I've been here for so long. I'm a Lakers fan as well. Uh huh. That's, that's one of those little things that happens. I mean, I'm a Giants fan too, but I'm also, dare I say it, a, a Dodger fan as well. Is that possible? Yeah, you know why? I'll tell you why, because people always look at me crazy when I say that. Mm-hmm. It's Jackie Robinson. Without okay. Jackie Robinson, we wouldn't have baseball the way we have it. Okay. So for anybody not to be a Dodger fan, it's, it's crazy to me. How does that work when you explain that to Giants fans? Does that work? Um, no. <laughs> no. So I don't say it very often, okay. you know. I, I don't wear Dodger gear in in uh, in uh, AT&T Park and I don't wear giant gear. That's probably in, in Dodger good. Stadium. That's probably good on your part. Yeah. But can you I'm with Dennis Haysbert here. Uh, Sci-Fi's Incorporated is his new television show. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon part of the executive producers of this uh of this futuristic show that premieres on Sci-Fi tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll talk about that in a moment. But the Raiders Seeing what they're doing right now, yeah. do you believe that they have a shot to win the whole shooting match here, Dennis? Yeah, I, and I'll tell you why. And it's not just you know being a rabbit fan. Uh, they haven't peaked yet. Okay. They haven't peaked yet. Um, they haven't gone out there from the first quarter to the fourth quarter and just blown a team out. You know, they've played hard, good uh, football. ACDC is going really good. You know, right now, mm-hmm. I actually like that moniker. It is great. I know it is a neat. It's a neat Amari Cooper, Derek Carr nickname, and then there's Latavius Murray in that whole mix too. Oh yeah, Latavius. Yeah. You know, Jack Del Rio pushing all the right buttons. He's got cojones, man. <laughs> He's got nads. <laughs> he does. <laughs> you know, he I, has. I, been, I love his play calling. Well, and it kind of does fit the just win baby. It does. Mentality, throw deep mentality that's going on right now. I know you're friends with uh, Bolitnikov. Fred Bolitnikov. How'd you become friends with Fred Bolitnikov? Uh, He has a golf tournament uh, that he has every year uh, that celebrates uh, his late daughter Mm -hmm. and uh, and his foundation. And and I got up there and I got to know the the family pretty well. And uh, it just started, you know, just started hanging out and talking, you know, and uh, and he's, I'm a number one fan. I mean, I used to love watching 25, you know, do that square out, and uh, yeah, I was the first guy I think uh, uh, that really did the you know the two the double tap in you know and catching the ball and falling mm-hmm. out of bounds. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was a clock saver as well, you know, and uh, it's just I always just love watching him play, and he, I just he just always. It was a mutual admiration society. Now you get a chance to call him a friend, which is pretty pretty yeah. neat. I've got Dennis Haysbert here on the Rich Eisen Show. Did your phone ring at all? With the Indians in the World Series, yeah, against the Cubs, yeah, it did, <laughs> it did. I was I was busy. I was working mm-hmm. uh, in Toronto at the time, and it just really too busy. They wanted to do interviews and things like that, but just to to get Pedro Serrano's take yeah. on what's going on. Did you see Charlie Sheen offer to throw out a first pitch? Did you see that? Did, did he throw it out? No. Oh, he didn't do it. <laughs> no, but he he took to Twitter mm-hmm. and basically said, "I'm available." Oh, God. If you want me to. And then I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, it went to Game 7 on his own. Packed his bags, went to Game 7, had mm. his Wild Thing jersey, and also a Jobu statue with him. 
as well. He had the Joe Boots. He had he, he apparently it's not the, the original one. No, wait a minute. Is that the original one? I don't know if it's the original. I didn't see it, but uh, would I you be able to tell? I would be able to tell. Yeah, if it's the original. Yeah. Well, who owns that might be part of Major League Trivia coming up in the next segment. <laughs> I think some producers. <laughs> There's only <laughs> one. Would you be up for that, by the way, playing a quick game of trivia on, on Major League? Would you mind doing that? You know, it's been 25 years. You know, I understand that. But part of, you know, Chris Law has done this before with some of our celebrity guests. Okay. And part of the allure of this is the look that the celebrity guest <laughs> gives him. That look of, why don't I already have a restraining order you on your type look? That's part of the fun okay. in that regard. If you wouldn't mind doing that, no, no, no. Do you want to just let's just do it right now? Let's go ahead and do right it. Now? Yeah, let's do it. There's major league uh, trivia with Chris Law and uh, and the man who played Pedro Serrano himself, Dennis Haysbert, here on the Rich Eyes. Okay, Show. I have I have five questions, a sixth if needed for a tiebreaker. <clears throat> Question number one: What items did you offer up to Jobu in order to help your character be able to hit the curveball? What items? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you offered him up two items. Oh, cigar and rum. We're one for one. Okay. Cigar and rum. Okay, very good. See, these are, they may yeah, not I mean, be too tough. Some of these are softballs. Okay. What jersey number did Pedro Serrano wear? Uh-oh. Ooh. 13. Two for two. Yeah! Okay, number three. Uh, Wild Thing was obviously the nickname of uh, star pitcher Ricky Vaughn mm-hmm. and the theme music that he would walk out to. What band sang Wild Thing for the 1989 film? You know, I don't think I ever knew this. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I know this one. Which one? What, what is it? It's the Trogs. Incorrect. What? The Trogs mm. had the original version in 1966. Mm. I got it wrong today, too. The Major League version was from X, recorded in 1985. See, you wouldn't have to know that. Don't worry, Dennis. <laughs> hey, See, on. there's the look. Okay. Give him two more. Okay. <laughs> the film Wait. wasn't actually filmed in Cleveland at the Indian Stadium. Instead, it was filmed at this Major League Park. Um, which which uh, which uh, show? The first one, the original. The original. Oh, the original was at uh, Milwaukee County Stadium. Nice. We are three for four. Do we want to go for a fifth? Go for. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, Dennis? Why not? <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is an expert level question. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no. Uh oh. When Jake Taylor's facing the Duke in the ALCS with Willie Mays Hayes on second in the bottom of the ninth, and he calls his shot, and then lays down the bunt. What is the pitch count? Ooh. Dennis Haysbert. What was the pitch count? All the shot. The great Harry Doyle on the call. Hmm. What do you think? 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two and two is the count. Incorrect. I'm sorry. One oh. ball, one strike. Oh, my gosh. Oh. One ball, one strike? Oh, yeah, because the risk of bunting with two strikes, it goes foul. Game oh, over. that's right. But guess what? Three for five. That's a hall we get Pedro Serrano in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, well done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well done, Dennis. Thank you for taking part. Three oh, for shoot. Why? I should have known that. <laughs> no, you can't kid yourself. <laughs> that last one. Oh, no. You know, I played baseball, man, so I, I know you don't lay down a butt. No, it's okay. No worries. Well, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make, yeah. It's okay. I'm going to say one or two or something. So, uh, Sci-Fi is incorporated. This looks like a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. You're playing what appears to be a particular badass character here yeah uh what what should folks know about this show that that uh, debuts tomorrow night on sci-fi um they should know that mm-hmm. it's, it's going to be exquisite entertainment but you're also going to learn something uh we are nose diving into a climate catastrophe mm-hmm. and uh, it's one of those things if if in the recent events uh, that have taken place this year has not awakened you yet. If you are not awake, I don't think you ever will be. And uh, so we ha- we have to uh, think about climate change. We have to think about uh, how, what kind of fuels we're using. Coal is dead, and re- you know, regardless of what anybody says. I'm mm-hmm. not going to get into politics, but you know who's talking about that. Um, and this is all incorporated into incorporated. Yeah, you know, you're gonna you're gonna see things, you're gonna hear things, you know, that it may not have to do with the story, but it's always present. You know, storms, uh, you know, uh, 
you know, espionage between companies. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's two major companies that are discussed um, in this season. And it's um, Spiga, of course, uh, the company I worked with, mm-hmm. and uh, Inazagi. And they're both biotech companies. So it's basically, you know, uh, Monsanto against Monsanto. And you're the head of security in this in, in this Spiga, in yeah. this sci-fi uh, show. And that he starts is a badass, month. but uh, I think you'll un- you'll see that he's not. Mm-hmm. Eventually, you'll understand that he's not a bad guy. Okay. Well, it's tough to look at you sometimes as a bad guy. I'm sure you've heard that before a little bit because yeah. you're just such a nice guy, Dennis. I could be a bad guy. Yeah, no, I know that. <laughs> oh, I know that. It's just, you know, well, I, I just uh, remember you from so many of those great times on, on 24 as well. You know, you're so terrific on that show. Thank you. Before I let you go, we were going to talk about this. Is it a spoiler alert even now for those who may not have seen 24? and knows what happens to your character. Would you say it's a spoiler alert? Um, or is it just, it's now on them? Well, it's, it's on so them long. now. I mean, it would be a spoiler alert because there are a few people out there, um, by that I mean probably a couple of million mm-hmm. or more that haven't seen it. Um, definitely worth it. It's a great Christmas gift, you know, mm-hmm. to get uh, all eight seasons. But the first four seasons, I think, were the best. You see it's coming back? Did you see that? Yeah. I think it's cool. I think it's great. Yeah, it's the same construct, just a different. Uh, yeah, a different Bauer. Right, and now he's playing the president on another TV show. Yeah, isn't that cool. <laughs> gets, that one's really fascinating. Well, you know, I did that to him when I went to the unit. You know, I so, said, you know, That's I want right. to be an action guy. You know? <laughs> That's right. So, That's you know, right. It's, it's it's only fitting. Hey, Dennis, love everything that you're in. Thanks for coming on here on the show. I oh, appreciate it's my it. Pleasure. Come back, come back, come back when the Raiders make the Super Bowl or even before. Ooh, what do playoffs. You well, you say you haven't peaked yet, which is kind of scary, you know. If you're, I don't think they have. If you're right, then that's scary, you know. Maybe they haven't peaked. I don't think, you know, in terms of how great they can possibly become. But mm-hmm. if you're talking just been the construct of 2016, yeah, that's pretty scary. But you saw a glimpse of it when uh, Khalil uh, made that, you know, that interception and uh, ran it back. For He's a incredible. He is particularly special. He's up there with Von Miller and those guys. Yeah. Of that, there's no doubt. Um, check out, again, Incorporated on Sci-Fi tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.